Hey guys, Ryan Wagner here from Bespoke Edge and doing a quick video here on how to tie a uh, four in hand necktie knot. So the four in hand is arguably the most common necktie knot. It's very, very simple to tie and it's kind of an asymmetrical knot, knot which is really cool. So walking you through this, first and foremost is to button your dress shirt all the way to the top and then pop the collar. Then take your tie and you're going to put it around your neck and try and get it in the right spot that you can adjust what's on the back a little later. First thing is one needs to be a little longer than the other side and that's always going to be the wider end of the necktie is going to be longer. So this gap is going to depend on a couple things. Uh, one is the size of your neck, the length of the necktie, and the knot that you're going to use. So you'll kind of figure out as you do more of these what the right gap is for your unique circumstance. For me I know that Roughly this distance, which is quite a, a difference here, is going to be good for the forehand knot when I tie it. So, first thing you do, long end will go over the short end. That's the narrow part of the necktie. And roughly this distance, you have a few inches between your first button on your neck and where you kind of went over the shorter end. So, that's all we've done so far. You're going to come around and do it again around that short side. If you've heard people talk about the rabbit going around the tree twice, that's just what we did. So very simple. And now we're going to go through the little loop between my neck here that was created by that first Passover. So, I kind of show you from the side here, this is coming up. And what happens is you should see the back end of the wide part of the necktie. So one more time. From going around twice, we just come around, you see the underside of the necktie, and then pull it through, almost taut, but not quite, because the last step is going through this loop that we created. We're going to go down it, and at this point, you've pretty much tied the four in hand knot. So, kind of tugging on both ends to get it a little tight, here's what happens. If I pull on the shorter or the uh, narrow end of the necktie, that brings the whole knot closer to my neck. And then to kind of tighten that knot, I pull on the wider end, and the four in hand knot starts to really come out, right? From there, it's kind of using the mirror and feel to kind of get that knot looking the way that you want it to look. Again, short end will tighten the necktie knot, and the wide end will make the knot itself tighter. Now, as you can see, it came out pretty good because I uh, had a knack for knowing that initial distance, but if one end is longer or shorter and you've run out of uh, leeway and margin to pull on, it's okay. Just start over and try a different distance, and I think it'll work out just fine. Uh, last step, you put the collar down all the way around. Make sure that it's not up at all on the back, and that's just kind of a feel thing. And then make sure, either with a mirror or by feel, that part of the necktie is not below the collar and that it all looks and feels the way it should. That is the four in hand necktie.